Okay, happy Friday and welcome to another Fireside Friday uh, where we hope to pull back the curtain a little bit on life inside Verizon and Verizon Connect uh, and to talk to to talk tech with some of the uh, uh, very interesting people that are working within the business. This week is a real treat. We've got Svetlana Samko who is going to join us. Svetlana is a, a lean agile technical project manager with, um, with the business. And I won't try to tell you what Svetlana does because um, I think it would be much better coming from her. Uh, there are many nuances to, to life as a TPM in Verizon Connect. Uh, and, and it can be quite complicated to explain uh, at times. So I'm going to bring Svetlana in. Svetlana, hi, you are with us and live, and welcome to Fireside Fridays, of course. Help, Odric. Nice to see Hello. you. Nice to see you, everyone. Yeah, yeah. One, one of the first things I kind of touched on just as I was about to bring you in and, and um, introduce you to, to the stream uh, and those watching was that, uh, I guess what I was touching on was that a TPM in Verizon is not necessarily the same as a TPM in a lot of other organizations. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Actually, I started in Verizon Connect. Um, uh, I started like around four years ago, right? And I started as QA engineer, senior QA engineer, and I wanted to move to TPM role because I was at some point a uh, technical project manager. But it was absolutely different journey. So I was working with mentor. There was one mentor in Verizon Connect that was helping me and was going with me through the journey. And it was a part of Verizon Connect program, working with the mentor. Uh, as well as I had, I would say also it was kind of mentor kind of coach. He was not working in uh, office in Dublin, but he was helping me to understand more. I might process manager or you know people manager and why do I want to move to this role and I, I did it had a few interviews and in one year I changed the role that's really cool tell, tell me about the the mentoring was it was that something more formal or something that happened by accident because there's all sorts of different types of mentoring that can can happen right definitely yeah so it was at that time some program uh, organized by Verizon and you could apply as uh, a mentor for someone who would be interested in mentor and you could get mentor. So I actually got one official mentor and I was mentoring two other people, <laughs> which uh -huh. were one, um, uh, it was, uh, I think, AI engineer now he is uh, in Italy. And one, it was a girl in uh, US, Canada, she was moving um, and she became very good, strong also manager. So that, that was beneficial for both because I could practice my coaching yeah. and mentorship, I would say skills. And at the same time, I got a great mentor in Verizon. So great, great person to work with. I think it's one of the... I think it's one of the real benefits of mentor, you know, when mentor mentor programs are done properly, uh, yeah. when done purposefully, I think one of the best benefits out of them is it's that. It's a very thing. good benefit, definitely, because you should be proactive, though. So yeah. <laughs> programs are there, you know. At the same time, I have a buddy in the company which is not working with me directly, and I meet in him time to time, also another manager. I have also another TPM with whom I, I'm also working like a buddy. And if you are proactive in the company, you definitely will be able to do it. Uh, there are some programs which are organized by the companies that you, but you need to be proactive to not leave them after they are finishing. You know, you may yeah. still stay with this person in contact and get all the benefits from it. So it's more of a long, yeah, that's, that, that's what I was kind of got, going to get at. There's a longitudinal uh, benefit that comes out of it. If you, as you say, if you do it longitudinally or take that longitudinal view, you also you go from being a mentee to a mentor, mentoring other people who can then go on and develop as mentors as well. So it can be it can be something that yields benefits over over a great period of time. Definitely, because you have to take a look at this mentorship coaching program, uh, you know, very widely and see what is exactly mentorship, what is coaching. Mentorship is when I wanted to change the role. I had a mentor who was actually showing me how TPM role looks in Verizon and what is the difference between TPM role somewhere else. So then I could understand it properly. 
And uh, coach actually helped you to understand why do you want to do it? Why actually this role? Mm, what kind of uh, goals and uh, dreams do you have? And how can you achieve them by yourself? So asking proper questions, it allows you to think about it. And then you can see, do you want to do this or something yeah. else? Yeah. Or, you know, and also don't stop because it doesn't mean that if you are, I don't know, you're an engineer today, developer, developer today, or uh, or some managers like TPM manager, TPM, yeah. So you may still change the role. Yeah. There are so many opportunities there. Just yeah. come, start with what you know, where you are the best, and then think, open your eyes, listen, go to the meetings, attend yeah. different other meetings like Toastmasters, like Women Program, the Rehab Lean In Program, like WOW, it's also a program yeah. for women. Women of the world. Yeah, women of the world. And so many different other programs which allow you to see other people which you are not working with, yeah. other roles, other opportunities, and then think yeah. what next level. What next, yeah. So, okay, so I, the, you're, you are prolific by way of, by way of um, seeking out education and knowledge. It's, it's visible, you know, you're so active on on LinkedIn uh, from a learning perspective and you're you're an active public speaker. In fact, we're quite lucky to have you here, right? So you're you're you're, you're I mean I mean that you're but you're an active public speaker. Um but Toastmasters is a little bit different, right? So a, a good friend of mine uh joined Toastmasters. Now his goal at the time was to improve his presentation skills. So he mm -hmm. you know he had a commercial reason for doing it and, and this right. guy is this guy is, is a great speaker, but he wanted to improve his uh, executive presence, you know, his ability to present uh, on commercials, not just um, to present careers to people we might try to to um, persuade to join us or what have mm -hmm. you. But, you know, we, we stakeholder at quite high level within the business as well. So I know a little bit about Toastmasters and his journey. But you're the VP of education for your chapter, right? I'm just starting. Yeah, I'm just starting uh, 1st of July. Okay. So and will be for one year a VP of education there. Uh, so Toastmasters is something that I, I I went to this one of club before, you know, during COVID uh, online. And I actually didn't feel there that I would be a good fit in this group. But when I started in Verizon, it was absolutely different. So people are very welcoming, very um, kind, very open hearted, and they are welcoming all your tries and, you know, some issues even sometimes you have yeah. uh, to speak and to listen, because it's not only speaking, also active listening that you train there. Yeah. And you have so many different roles there. You can just start as guest, talk for some time answering some questions, simple questions like icebreakers, and then later create first topic for three, five minutes. <laughs> and there are there, are, there is a whole program there that Verizon Spain for. So Spain, Verizon Spain for you to go through the program and build these skills. So you can actually create the whole line of your skills you present in you are actively listening, you are asking some questions, you are Toastmaster and you are evaluating others. So very, very interesting. And it's only once or two weeks or fortnightly, very like one hour and you are not speaking the whole hour. There are yeah. other people that are speaking. So very easy, but very nice. That's brilliant. And um, I suppose during COVID, that was, it was, I guess it was exclusively online during COVID. Yeah. Are you back in person now or are you staying online? No, it's actually online club. There is another club in Reading in UK, in UK. which is not online. <clears throat> Sorry. But uh, this club is online only. And it's great because uh, I met so many people that I'm not working with there. So I, I met there and they are great. They are new, you know, also new people that open in business for you in different way and giving you more visibility of Verizon at all. So I think online is great, actually. It's, uh, I'm yeah. a big fan of online. 
I, I was working online before, before Verizon for a long time. So I, uh, I think remote job is great. And if you would like to go to the office, it's good to have this opportunity. But it's yeah. great that you can also to work online. Yeah. It allows to do a lot of uh, things for me quicker. And yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's an interesting thing because I remember when... I remember when COVID really kicked off and the government government shut down, you know, the workplaces essentially. Yeah. And we all, you know, the building went dark and we we all went remote. I remember initially a lot of people were worried about productivity and would we would we remain productive? But the business had actually trials what mm. it was like to take the business out of the building, let's just say. Um, and they were, you know, people like um, uh, Johnny uh, Kehoe and, and so on were heavily involved in, in war room scenarios and, and making sure that the business, the network ultimately could stay up and yeah. that the business could keep serving our customers. So we, you know, we were wondering, but then all of a sudden we were re we were remote not, and not necessarily by choice, but productivity went through the roof, right? It, it just absolutely mm -hmm. shut up i know i was doing a heck of a lot more than i had been before you had to stop yourself to do things right you had to stop and turn off and go yes. and live your life outside the work as well yeah that's the thing that's a tricky tricky point yeah it is and, but just we, to learn this yeah 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 it was, it was definitely a learning curve we started to do things like um we became aware of, of looking after people's mental health and that kind of thing mm -hmm. And we started. There are a lot of programs in Verizon with mental health here as well. Yeah. Uh, you always get. So I was a part of yoga class when we were in Verizon in Dublin. Uh, oh, down in the in the mezzanine area. Yeah, was it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, that, and yeah. it was open and free for everyone. Um, uh, Daria from Verizon is doing this, and yeah. she's still doing it online. So people are still joining wow. in. That's very nice. Every Tuesday, I think. Yeah, every Tuesday it happens. Wow. Uh, there are other programs like uh, Unity Group, which we, where we have people from different countries as well, and um, there are some programs about boxing as well. So. Okay, brilliant! <laughs> yeah, 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 I love it. I'm teaching my little girls how to box at the moment. I, I <laughs> do a lot of boxing, and um, nice. one of them is ten, and the other is eight. So there's there's a, a physical difference size wise yeah. and maturity between the two of them and the 10 year old wants to start throwing you know a little fight. bit of sparring yeah what's a fight yeah right <laughs> um, whereas the eight year olds just this is fun we're skipping you know we're we're, we're moving around play yeah it's still yeah, a game know, but it's play yeah yeah so it, it's amazing to see the girls as they as they kind of learn these different types of skills the application of the skills is completely different, you know, completely. Yeah. But that's, I guess that's, um, that, you know, that's them at early stages of their lifelong learning journey, right? And you've had your own learning journey. You you did, you did, you completed an MBA recently, I think, didn't you? Exactly, yeah. And I did it during COVID uh, and did it online. Wow. <laughs> did it online in New York University, Leadership and Management MBA. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Verizon actually supports uh, your education, your higher education. So if you want to do some master degree or if you want to do MBA, which is also master in business administration, uh, you will be reimbursed if you will do it successfully. So I had four modules uh, and my project at the end and I was applying after I was finishing, uh, sending the documents that I successfully finished it and then I was reimbursed. Right. So it was very good, very, very nice tuition program. Yeah. Um, you have just to do it properly by documentation, you know, how to apply. Everything is written, but you have to follow the rules. Yes. And then if you're following the rules, you can, can do it. And I know other people that did it in Verizon as well, and did yeah. master degrees uh, in computer science as well. And I know someone who is doing it now, also TPM in uh, Dublin, also project management she is doing. So. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's phenomenal. I mean, I, I did an MBA. When did I graduate? I graduated in 2014, so it's well before COVID and, and um, 
was all on site and, and the business studies and, and <clears throat> the interactions with business leaders were in person and, and it was phenomenal. But the thing that stood out to me was I, I, I kind of, now different people think different things about MBAs, right? There's a lot of critics mm. out there. And then, <clears throat> but I always say to people, if you've actually gone through doing an MBA, you know the value of the MBA, you know, the, the, it's phenomenal. I think everything that you are learning, it depends what you are doing with it after. So if you want to implement it somewhere, if you want to use it somewhere, yeah. in, in any of ways, you can use it because you are changing the role or you can use it because you're using some of skills that you got there. Yeah. That will work. So uh, as I am always looking forward into the future, so I, I see myself growing in my roles and I was actually promoted recently but i'm still <laughs> looking forward to the next level that's my approach not uh, maybe in tpm maybe in other roles we'll see how it will go in the future but um, definitely it will help because leadership and management and one of model was actually about coaching and mentoring other people very good very good uh, skills and very useful for people yeah. management yeah. And, and, and people are everything in the company. So people are the main the main um, factors that the company is successful, I think. And we have great people in our company, very professional, uh, very also kind and open to mentor others and to work with, with other people. And so international company where you can see people from every country probably in the world. It's great. It's, my yeah. team is so international and they have a lot of different people from different countries and it's great it's great to work with them it's great to see how you know your country and your environment influenced you and yeah. this you're coming with your own world to the company but yeah. you are open to share it and actually such people as uh, our hr <laughs> team uh, they are helping a lot because you are going with this people that are coming to us to interview and you yeah. are checking that these people are actually open to everyone you know to yeah. any kind of differences any kind of um own views uh, religion and other things so we are open and it's, it's very nice people should feel safe at work because we are spending actually most of our life at work i know I know, right? <laughs> even, even, even when we're remote, and, I, and we yeah. have a hybrid work model now, which is is awesome. And um, actually, on, on on the hybrid thing, we, I was just talking with my team. We even across our team, we have different applications of hybrid. So I I love I'm at home today, but I'm usually in the office most days. I'll go to the office. I just I just like it, right? It's yeah. uh, you know it's a great office, and I enjoy being there. And I love to get to meet people like you and in person when you do come in as well but then others on the team might come in uh two mm -hmm. days a week or one day a week or less and the engineering um will you know if they if people are able to come in one day a month if if that's what works best for their home life but even when we're at home we're at work a lot of the time right definitely yeah definitely but that's the thing you should um turn off your laptop and leave yes. uh, and um, actually teams are creating such uh, calendars you know when you are working when you are available when you are not available yeah and it works and uh, people are trying to also having some slot and that's something that i advise to people to have slot for lunch it's our lunch you have to you may eat you may go outside you may do spend your time as you want but turn off from laptop Turn off your mind, you know, go see the nature. Now it's warm, even if it's not warm still. Yeah. Enjoy. And uh, that's the way of managing your life yeah. and work, your life, life work balance, as we are saying. Uh, and that's supported by managers in Verizon. So yeah. uh, no one is expecting that you will work long hours. It happens that some uh, sometimes we have some kind of differences between, as example, New Zealand and Dublin, which are yes. very different types. Yeah. But that yeah. means that you are taking some time off as well if you have to do it. So it's not that you uh, are doing it and um, someone will actually expect you still to work full day next day or day after. So you are discussing it with manager and manager supporting you to have proper timelines, you know, proper day working. Yeah. Day. 
Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And we just had a, a visitor in the background there that proves that, <laughs> that I'm at home. I I, I chose, uh, this is interesting actually, that, that was my wife, Debbie, who who made an impromptu uh, uh, visit to the video there. But I chose this time of day to do Fireside Friday chats because this is actually the time of day when my son is in bed. And were we to have this video chat at any other time, either side at 12 o'clock, there would there would have been a lot more vocal door open mm -hmm. that come through there but um it's it's one of the most amazing things because when, when we when we went remote and, and we all found ourselves in the living room or the bedroom or on you know in the kitchen in the corner i have to say verizon and i mean not just verizon connect but verizon as a whole um the leadership embraced those nuances that people might have if they have younger families or kids just popping in and, and you know you can't picture it necessarily in the office space but we almost embraced it um when at home because it was the right thing to do to allow people to deal with this pandemic this phenomenon that was taking place you know so i have seen it in calendars as well so people yeah. are taking uh children from the school and to you yeah. if it's written you know that you're not creating some meeting at the time of course you're not doing it um yeah it, it should be like this right we should i mean incorporate your work into life not life into work so yes. life is big work is part so let's put partly work but leave people also some place for other activities for learning as i yeah. am doing for I, I like to go also to different conferences as example I went to a WASP uh, conference, big this uh, WASP conference that happened uh, recently, also online, was moderating. Right. Yeah, it was great. It was great. And it allowed me to do it because we have also uh, learning days in Verizon. So yeah. you can spend some days going to conferences or to trainings or, or doing your exams. And everyone knows that you applies and you're getting it it's like the same as holiday but it's not from your holidays which is important yeah. oh it's so important it's it's a, that's a really interesting point uh, i have that conversation every friday um with the talent acquisition team <clears throat> excuse me and what what we do is we allocate time we say look friday friday afternoon i mean it doesn't get better than friday afternoon right when people are kind of winding down for the weekend anyway but friday afternoon stick it in the calendar block out the time on a recurring basis spend that time on you and it, it's it's done on purpose because one one of the one of the things that always falls apart when people doorstep you or virtually doorstep you is is the time you've allocated for yourself so if you mentally think i'll do it on thursday but you don't block that calendar you know two hour period of time out it, it falls apart so but the, the other thing we do, which I think, and I'm keen to get your thoughts on this as well, is uh, even, even you know, zoom out a little bit and look at it on an annual basis. We might talk about performance planning across the year and what your plans are for the year. But we talk about development plans as well mm -hmm. and what you think you can do or achieve to develop yourself. And in TA, we flip it to thinking about the me, uh, the, the we, so the team and then mm -hmm. the business and what what can we do to develop it and we try to tie performance into development personal and professional and, and so on but somehow link it to building the business and developing the business yeah uh, i would say that you know we have this one-to-ones with managers and it's very important um why it's important it can be important can be not important it all depends on you yeah uh, <laughs> even my first manager in verizon andrew woods he liked to have uh, these meetings with me because he thought he was the only one who was coming with the plan. <laughs> I was coming in the plan. What would I like to do to, until the next, you know, some kind of, I don't know, performance review or something. Yeah. So yeah. plans for development, what we need to achieve and want to achieve for the company. They are coming from product team. We are discussing in CFT cross-functional teams and we are implementing it and we are working on this as normal life at work. Yeah. But you should not forget about you as well in this whole process and think yeah. how would you like to present yourself? 
you have to present yourself. You can present yourself on the showcases. You have showcases every two weeks. Now, Dumat uh, already is organizing this. And it's great uh, because you can show even small piece of work that you are doing. And maybe developers that is doing, maybe testers that can also present this because he is working as the part of, of development team. We, you know, it's important, very important part of the development team. And also we have product owner or product manager who can present what do we want to do. UX, researcher, everyone can present this. Brilliant. Me, as TPM, I can show some part of, uh, as example, some lean improvement in the team, improvement of cycle time. And I did it. I did it with smart sheets. And you are experimenting and you are showing some small part of it and just talking to the other teams, what do they think about it. And it works. You can do demos. You can go and uh, do some tech talks in the company as well and invite even other teams. You can do it online. You can do it offline. We recently had AWS uh, days, right? So it was like game yeah. <laughs> and, and it was very competitive. Shuba won that, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, Shuba and team, the Cloud Pirate team won that, I should have said. Yeah, very good, very good. It was great initiative organized. Um, by our AWS leaders, right? Like in the company, very good. So you always can present yourself in different ways. When then some opportunity will come, you will be able to grow as a person in the company as well as a, your role can be next level. Um, as well as skills that you are getting on the way because you have some feedback and you can think what are you doing good, where you can improve, but don't focus only on some things that you can improve. Focus mm -hmm. also on your strengths. We have this Gallup, um, uh, it's like survey where you can see your five main strengths. Oh, and they're the very strength important. Finder. Gallup Strength Finder, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very good. So you can see where you are the strongest, you know, words, parts, what. Um, not, it's not only about industry, it's about anything in your life, like you are some activator, for example, and you like to active, actively <laughs> activate something, some, some project, as example, or some initiative in the team. But doesn't mean that you will be always following it to the end. You need team to support you. But it doesn't mean that you have to so much improve. You can activate, activate and get people that are better in this process. Yeah. and work together so we use together, different yeah. strengths in the team yeah. and every person is different and yeah. we need to use strengths in the team not focus on something that we lack because everyone is strong in one and not strong in another one that's good it's it's yeah. it's, it's it's very good i had a conversation so, with um with somebody just yesterday about hiring and building teams and i always said that i wanted to hire people that are better than me you know for for within talent acquisition of course. Um, and if you surround yourself with people that are better than you you, you know a rising tide it'll really raise the bar for the organization but the reality is a bit more nuanced than that because nobody mm. is just the best at every single little thing they've as you say they've got strengths here gaps here you know and what i found we we've re, we re completely rebuilt the the EMEA talent acquisition team mm -hmm. What I found was that we, we absolutely hired people that were better. Um, I hired people that were better than myself at certain things and everybody brought a different skill set. So for example, we have a social champ with somebody with a real deep orientation towards uh, volunteering and CSR. We've got somebody else who is an expert headhunter. And when you zoom out a little bit and you're a few months down the line, you can see it there. Everybody's interacting, working together, doing, as you say, doing teach backs and, 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 and so Showcases, on. Showcases, yeah. Showcases. And you can see it. Everybody starts developing along the way. And gradually over time, things just improve and improve. It's an amazing thing to see. But you have to do it on purpose, I think. Sure. Yeah. And I think definitely you, if you are creating a new team, you have to have people that have something that, you, uh, some skills that you may be not so great in. And it's good, it's good to have different, like small 
uh, small parts working together and uh, it looks great uh, as an end result. As well as I could say that we have so different TPMs, different personalities in TPM roles, and we don't expect that they will do the business the same way. So yeah. someone is focusing more on lean, someone is focusing more on maybe um, coming to stand ups and doing the process. So it depends on the particular person and everyone is doing everything that has to be done. But someone is better in in, in uh, such particular moments of our life on our processes in uh, technical project management. And I would say that's that's important. And also what is important that Horizon allows not to not stop learning yeah. and encourage you and in different parts. So for example, uh, we are working with AWS and at the same time I am learning the AWS. I'm TPM, I don't have to do it, right? But I can. I did data analytics course also during this COVID and graduated went with my cap and stuff. <laughs> and it was also Brilliant. really nice. Reason. We did data analytics and an MBA during during uh, Yeah, and also as a project manager, I did a lot of things. <laughs> At the same time, uh, an example, I'm now doing a six months exponential uh, coaching program. So I'll wow. be exponential coach who is yeah. taking a look at the person and will help during like half a year achieve the goals that person wants and help to understand why we are doing things like we are doing. And it's in parallel with my main work. And yeah. that's great, right? You have to be open to different things and enjoy them, whatever you enjoy. Maybe you enjoy something else. Maybe you enjoy to play games and you're a super gamer in parallel with, with your work. Great. Maybe you enjoy to learn about Bitcoin and you're learning there and about uh, investing, which is also a great topic now. Yeah. Anything, anything you like. Verizon actually will allow you to do it in parallel because it's it, there is timeline when you're working, there is timeline when you're not working. During your work, you will meet great people, yeah. which will we have specific groups when we are sharing photos with some like our my view for, from office in the morning, <laughs> home office of course. Yeah, or, sure. yeah, or some kind of investment channels I have seen in New Zealand or yeah. other channels. Um, Oh yes, we are, we are doing push up program. We we started a bit a bit, but we did it before in office. I was coming as well with Kelly uh, and uh, guys. There a lot of guys were coming. We were doing push ups once a day, just Brilliant. like that in the middle of the uh, on on the ground floor, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. And now we did it online. We stopped a bit, but I think we will come back <laughs> eventually. Eventually. Yeah. So here's a here's a question for you. I want to ask you two final questions. I'm I'm, sure. I'm watching the clock. I know you're you're busy, so I don't want to to uh, take away from your lunch time, right? <laughs> um, question number one: What are the top three skills? And I don't mean the black and white of a job description, but in your opinion, the top three skills that a that a tech project manager might need or might want to develop or might have if they were to consider career in Verizon Connect? I think first one, and I would not say only TPM, but anyone in Verizon, but TPM as well, curiosity. So you should be interested. What what was what there? What is next? Yeah. Why? Why like this? Can it be different? Uh, why did we not change? You know, and even that we are planning something new, it doesn't mean that it should be exactly like this. For this, we have cross-functional teams when we're discussing and team can propose some different solutions that, as example, a product team was thinking about, or UX team was thinking about as a start, because it's better from some technical perspective or more innovative. Second is to like people and to love to work with people, because as I told, for me, people is the main part why the company is great. So. If you like people, you will try to work with them in, in the way that you will think about their calendars. You know, you will think about the way how do you communicate and we think about not only what you don't think about them as a resource, you would think about them as people. So you yeah. will work with them, actually. Yeah. It's very, very uh, important. And also the same is 
towards yourself so that people are work, are working with you like this it's nice yeah. and it's what is happening in Verizon Connect and the last one I think do what you like so you are you goal oriented you are like after <laughs> like learning career yeah. improving do it just come and bring it with yourself tell about this be active and tell tell your manager people around should know um if you are as example focused on something that you are doing at home you're focused on your uh family as example do it as well we have opportunities to take parental leaves we have opportunities to take paternity leaves uh we are very comparison is very open to allow you to go as example to work to stay with children if needed and anything else mm. if you are interested in some newer i don't know initiatives in the company be proactive tell about it don't don't be shy yeah if you are telling it will be people will listen and will think how can they help you and that's actually what happened with me when i wanted to move to deep emerald i told i i went to an, one interview and yeah. uh, it didn't work out in verizon <laughs> and it's fine i mean i was great but i didn't have so much experience to take this role but i went to another one and i was able to clear like four interviews and started during COVID. i started when COVID just started yeah and it was just because i told that i want to do it yeah. so so yeah that's three things i think that's so, brilliant like, yeah. yeah that's that's really interesting um and anyone we've spoken to will on on fireside fridays will will attest to this that i always say look i might want to cover off certain things you know like you're being the vp of education at toastmasters because that's just super cool right but largely <laughs> don't, don't script it it's just a chat it's just a chat right so everything that comes out is natural and and, and, and organic but that is something i've heard i want to say three if not four times in a row now from uh, different um, women working in Verizon Connect. Most recently was Jerry Yardnova. Uh, before that, Katie Blythe, uh, who's who's in sales, um, and then another colleague. Um, and the the thing, the theme is, sh as you said, show up, show up, and be your authentic self. Right. Number two, get comfortable talking about yourself and what you want, and be fierce in going after those goals, as you said ask for it you've got to say it out loud you've got to ask for it and if you can do that if you can develop that comfort and go after it i think you can achieve anything yeah i think verizon is interested in um helping people who are in verizon know business and are good there to promote them and to move them forward to next goals in the career and they will help you your manager will help you to understand what exactly is needed for this yeah yeah, you, you just need to tell that you are ambitious, you want this, you know, uh, if you want. Or yeah. maybe you want something different, you know, being actively yeah. involved in something different. That's also embraced and uh, everyone is open to this. No one is yeah. telling that this is the only one way. Yeah, Dear, Dermot O'Reilly, who who spoke with us recently, said that. And, and, you know, his career is a testament to that. He's gone from geology to coding to TPM to being chief of staff for product R&D. Um, so it's you know the, the possibilities certainly within Verizon Connect. If you want to craft something, you can take a risk and craft it. Um, okay, brilliant. So the final question then was a question I ask or try to ask uh, everybody when I'm talking to them: Who would you recommend we talk to next? Who would I recommend to talk to next? Um, I think so many good people. <laughs> so many good people there. Um, as example, Digimon is a great person to work with. He's technically great and he is interesting and he has this also empathy for people and likes to to involve them in uh, different initiatives, but also he recognizes when people are involved. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, so many, so many names now in my no, head. No, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So there I, you go. I would say that you would always have uh, you always can go and also talk to some uh, AWS people, um, like 
I, you, you talked, I know, you know, I know that you, you did before, but I'm just saying. We have Brian on uh, in his, we have Brian on in his cloud suit last week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I have seen, I have seen this, and I, I have seen uh, that he was thinking as it is now, Pride, uh, Pride Month, right? That maybe he will yeah. take a look at another suit, you know. <laughs> there was yeah. some chat on this. Yeah, so so many good people that hard hard even to select one. Yeah. Um, she won, she is great. She's working my team, yeah. uh, and absolutely amazing data engineer her career is amazing she's working now as a tech lead and just managing the team and we went through so many different changes in the team and yeah. she's managing pretty good yeah. fantastic yeah. fantastic people in the yeah. you can that's brilliant. <laughs> that's brilliant thanks for that so siobhan and jijman we're coming for you. Watch out. <laughs> but, but Susanna, look, thanks a million for taking uh, time out of your day. I know how, how insanely busy you are in general, um, both academically and professionally, right? But uh, thank, thank you, you again for that. That was brilliant. It's great to get a, a glimpse in, in inside behind the curtains. And um, for any uh, TPMs out there who are interested, we are hiring at the moment. So uh, come work with us. So, so Svetlana, I'll, I'll let you go, get back to, to your day, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you, Project. I just wanted to say if, if some TPMs will have questions, they can also reach out to me. I can also answer questions about the work here and maybe some you know random questions that they, people have on their mind but maybe didn't um, yeah, didn't brilliant. add in the comments so just just come and ask uh, if i'll be able to answer i'll definitely answer that's amazing thank you project for this interview it's a great idea and i'm enjoying watching them and thank you for inviting me thanks Svetlana. happy friday happy friday okay there you go folks so that's Svetlana samko who's a, a lean and agile uh, technical project manager with Verizon Connect. Um, and one of the um, most prolific students I've, I've ever had the pleasure of, of knowing. Um, I mean, to complete an MBA during lockdown is is wild. That's that's phenomenal. To do a data and analytics course on top of it, and, and that, it didn't stop there. There was so much more. But look, if you're interested in careers of Verizon or hearing more about what life is like as a, a TPM within Verizon, you heard it, Svetlana said, reach out. So uh, you can tag her below, connect with her here on LinkedIn, um, or, or, or if you're watching on YouTube or listening on Spotify or Apple or Amazon, uh, jump onto um, her LinkedIn page and connect with Svetlana. As she said, she's more than happy to uh, to talk to anybody about life as a TPM in, in Verizon. So as always, happy Friday. Uh, we'll let you get back to your day and we will leave you as always with our credo, which again tells you a little bit about who we are, how we show up, our values, and uh, how we view the world. Take care. From where we work to where they live. From our technology to supporting theirs. From each and every one of us to each and every one of them. Everything we do affects everything they do. That's why how we work, what we believe, our values make all the difference. We share our success with the community to make the world in which we work better than it was yesterday. We keep our commitments to each other and our customers. We know teamwork enables us to serve our customers better and faster. We focus outward on the customer, not inward. Our actions produce measurable results. We run to a crisis, not away. We are committed to doing the right thing. This is our credo. Our guide to what really matters. 
how we stay connected to each other and to them. We are Verizon.